Apple's iOS 8 is finally here and we're going to go over some of the major features, jump right in and show you guys how to turn on some of the features and how to do some that are less prominent. One of the most wanted features is a quick reply. Now you can see I got a message. Now all you have to do is slightly pull your finger down over a new message and you can reply really quickly. You don't end up leaving the app so it makes it very convenient if you just want to, you know, quick reply to somebody and get back to what you're doing. Now there are a lot of features under the hood that are not very prominent, so we're going to help you go through some of my favorite ones right here. Notification Center is allowed to have widgets now, and you can see I have a couple here. I have Dropbox and Fragment, which is a uh, photography app, and I could add them here, arrange them how I want, and I'll put Fragment on top. Now it's probably just going to show me, yeah, it's going to show me a couple uh, inspirational pictures that people created with the app. Um, I could go through here with Dropbox and have my latest files showing right there, so it's very easy to use. That's really great to have. There's going to be a lot more coming out with widgets. It's going to be really cool. Now our next feature here is a double tap on the multitasking page. It gives us really quick access to your recent people you've contacted and your favorites. Tap on the image and you could call them, text them, or FaceTime. This is really convenient if you contact people often, giving you access right there in a couple taps. Now let's jump into the mail section here. We have a few new swiping features here. Now if I swipe to the left halfway or fully, you can see that a little menu pops up. If I swipe hard to the left, it'll just instantly delete the file of the email. And if you tap on the more section here, you get a few more options. Now you could just, you know, take your time, have fun with it. You could also swipe to the right and that'll mark it as unread and it'll actually undo that action if you do the same motion again. So for all your unorganized people, this is a great time to catch up and stay on top of your emails instead of having a million unread messages. Now a brand new feature is a notification section. If somebody replies and if you're waiting for an email and you don't want to miss it, you'll be sure to get a notification just by tapping on this, notify me, and any replies in this thread will get you a notification so you definitely can stay on top if it's an important email you're waiting for. The Messages app has got a bunch of new features. You can see a little more fluid animation with the bubbles, and one of my favorite features here is the Details section. Once you open a chat, just tap on Details and you can get access to all the pictures and videos you guys shared together. You can turn on the Do Not Disturb button to not get notifications from this person. This is great for group messages if you want to leave the chat, but I don't suggest DNDing your mom. Having all the media in one place shared between each other is really great. Now a brand new feature is this audio sending thing. You could just send a message, record it real quickly, swipe up and send the message right off to your friend. I'm sending you a test message right now. If you want to preview it, just tap on play. If you want to re-record it, just record your message and swipe up to send. Now don't worry about these audio files taking up space on your phone. They will be deleted after a certain amount of time unless you want to keep the audio message. And if you want to keep it, just tap on keep. The photo sharing has also gotten much more convenient. Just tap on the camera and you'll see your most recent pictures right here to choose from. You could swipe left and right, tap on the image you want, add a comment, shoot it off and you're good to go. You could also do quick pictures or videos. Now you need to hold your finger down on the record button and record your video and you could preview your video here right before you send it. Uh, I'm not going to send this one but I'll show you guys how you could take a quick selfie. All you have to do is drag your finger up to the camera, pose for your image and let go of the camera button and it's going to snap the picture and send it instantly. So make sure you're ready to be on camera because this picture came out really bad. Another new feature here are these little gray boxes that suggest uh, possibly the next word you're going to say or help you finish spelling a word and basically it's your autocorrect. Just tap on the little box if that's the one you want to pick and it'll help you compose your text message a lot faster. Now opening up the camera app here, you can see there are a few new options up here on the top. We have a self timer. I don't know why it took them so long to do this. Now you can choose between 3 and 10 seconds. This is great for taking selfies or portraits with families. Um, just tap on the one you want and then you're going to take your picture and you're good to go. You'll see a countdown. On the other side of the phone you'll see a flash blinking each uh, you know, number down. Now once it takes your picture, it'll take 10 burst pictures and you could go through your assortment and see which one is your favorite one. Pick your favorites and you're good to go. But try not to let too many burst pictures fill up on your phone because that could take up a lot of space. 
Now a really hidden feature here is the exposure adjustment. Now if you tap on the screen to focus and then if you keep your finger on the screen and drag it up and down you could adjust the exposure and you can see that it makes a huge difference for the image. So have some fun, get creative and take better pictures. Spotlight is much more useful now. You could search for locations if I want to find a burger joint. It'll tell me the closest one and I could get directions right away. Finally, Siri works with Shazam. You could use her instantly to find the song you're listening to and then you could buy it right after that. Now one amazing feature that the developers are really going to have fun with is the ability to edit pictures right within the photo app. You don't need to open all these different photo apps to edit your main picture. Now you can see here I have Fragment available to choose from. Now this is going to open up Fragment but it's not actually opening up the app. This is playing within the photo app and it's pretty much the same exact app. This is going to help save a lot of time because you don't need to jump from app to app just to edit an image. Once you create your masterpiece just tap on done and you're right back into the photo app. If you want to revert it, all you have to do is tap on edit and revert. To add a photo editing program, just tap on the three dots in the top left and select your photo editor. You can now share your images with more of your favorite apps. You can change the order of them so your favorite ones are up front. This is also going to save a lot of time instead of going to the other app, opening up in the camera roll and then posting from there. You could also arrange the menu bar on the bottom just how you want. One of the biggest welcomes to iOS 8 is custom keyboards, third party keyboards. We have Swipe, we have Swift Key that gives us ability to do a whole bunch of different things that we could never do before with an iPhone. There is a lot to cover with keyboards, so we made a separate tutorial video on how to get the keyboards added on your phone and customize them just how you want. There are a lot more great features that we haven't even covered yet, so make sure you guys click subscribe. We have a bunch more videos coming soon. What's your favorite feature about iOS 8? Leave a comment, let us know, or tweet us, and we'll retweet our favorite replies. And don't forget to subscribe and watch more Gizmo videos right here on BTV.